Hello everybody, I am Brian Mullins the Fox. First, let's get into demographics. In the next three episodes, we'll be going over gender and race, religion and family background, and finally, age. Here are the sources we'll work with throughout these next three episodes. Number one, The Roast Game, Numbers by the Year, 1998 to 2016, the source for the 13,383 number. And number two, The Roast Game Death Toll, but in a much smaller yet equally accurate scale to account for the 13,383 children that were rightfully spared, albeit with a hell of a lot of PTSD to cope with throughout their lives as they grow up. Let's start with gender. Male, 68.9% of the 13,383 or 9,221 of them. Female, 31.1% of the 13,383 or 4,162. Let's continue with race. White, 64.1% of 13,383 or 8,578 of them. African American or black, 29% of 13,383 or 3,881 of them. Hispanic, 1% of 13,383 or 134 of them. Asian American, 203 of them. Other races, 5.9% of 13,383, but excluding Asian Americans from the bunch, of which I've already accounted for. 587. Religion, obviously all of them Christian of all denominations, 13,383. Family background, the number of children that would have been killed by a single mother, 5,326 children. The number of children that would have been killed by a single father, 1,164 children. The number of children that would have been killed by a married mother for not believing in Christmas, 3,640 of them. And finally, the number of children that would have been killed by a married father for not believing in Christmas, 3,253 of them. Under a year old, 3,418 children would have been slaughtered in 2017 for not believing in Christmas. 6,433 of them being under the age of 5 or between the ages of 1 and 5. 1,772 of them between the ages of 6 and 11. 1,760 of them being between the ages of 12 and 17 are children by law. I am Brian Mullins, the Fox, signing out.